Hello. Today we would learn about one way of how to take a pattern and reproduce it on any kind of path. We learned how to draw a DNA helix in the last video. We tried putting the pieces in place by duplicating and lining them up. Today we will automate this process by using the extension Pattern Along Path in Inkscape. This extension will allow you to place patterns of a copy on any shape or outline. The first step is to look at our pattern. The pattern you produce can be a path. This path can also consist of multiple subpaths and could also be a group of paths. This pattern is made up of four objects of type paths. Since we created this pattern by dividing and piecing together primitive shapes using path effects, I want you to right click on this pattern and select duplicate or press Ctrl Z to duplicate the pattern. Select and bring the copy to sit on the right. With the object still selected, I want you to grab this handle and press on the Ctrl key. Squeezing the handles, you can scale the object to have a small size like so. Now right click on the object and go to group or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl G to group the objects. Press Ctrl D to duplicate and drag the duplicate over to the right. Now let us create two paths. I'll first select the circle tool. Press Ctrl and click to create a perfect circle. I'll then come down here to the status bar and remove all fill colors. This circle is not a path. We have to convert it to a path. I'll select the circle and come up here to Path, Object to Path, or use the keyboard shortcut Shift Ctrl C. I am going to activate the Bezier pen and click to draw a straight line under the second pattern. This line is already a path. For this extension to work, the pattern has to be on top of the path in stacking order. I want you to select the pattern and come up here and choose Raise Selection to Top. Also select the pattern on the right and go again to Raise Selection to Top. First, Select the first pattern and circle. After selection, open the extension dialog by clicking on extension, generate from path, pattern along path. A dialog will open, prompting you to change some settings if need be. A good place to start will be to choose a repeated pattern for the copies. For the formation type, choose snake. Leave everything as it is and select Duplicate Pattern before deformation. Before committing to the procedure by pressing Apply, I strongly recommend activating the Live Preview mode. This will show you a preview of what you will get. You can then tweak the settings to get what you want. Here for instance, I notice Repeat is not the best choice. I am going to choose Repeated Stretch instead. If you look closely, you will notice that there are gaps between the patterns. This is because of the pointed ends of these shapes. I'll fix this issue by shortening some space between them. I will do this slowly and let it update. Once it adjusts, I will inspect the preview and make sure the pattern distances are set right. Once you are satisfied with the preview, click on Apply to commit. That concludes this tutorial. Now that you know the basics, you may want to visit the line path and try it out. You may use other paths of your own. That's one way of how you place a DNA molecule along a path in Inkscape. If this video is helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you may never miss a video on using Inkscape in science, engineering and medicine.
Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video.